He believed there was only 20% gain, and we gave him 100. Last year when we talked about this, we talked about what does digital transformation look like for manufacturers? If they want to become like Tesla, what do they have to do? Well, they do it in two steps. Step one takes three to five years, and I'm going to show you a client that we did this for over a two-year period. Okay? But the first part of digital transformation is connect, collect, store, analyze, visualize. What's been happening over the last year for these companies to become more and more digitally mature, they've been finding patterns, okay? they've been predicting problems, they've been reporting what those problems will be, and they've been solving them, mitigating them. Okay? And then the big step, the second big step, is digital supply chain. All right, so I'm going to show you an example of a client that we did. So this is that flexible packager that we told you about, little mom and pop. It was a dying, failing organization. He spends, I don't know, a couple, you know, 20 million maybe, buys the building and buys the facility. They bring us in. One of their engineers brings us in, calls me and Matt. Matt and I walk in, and they say, all we want you to do is take Kepware. Everybody, anybody know what Kepware is, right? So Kepware is a piece of software that talks to PLCs, and it basically allows us to connect all of our machines together in one network. Matt and I walked on the plant floor. We, we looked and we were like, holy cow, they, I mean, they have state-of-the-art equipment here. And they're not talking to any of it. I mean, we're talking Siemens D445 motion controllers. I mean, some of their presses were $20 million presses. I mean, absolute state-of-the-art technology, and they were totally blind. They weren't connected to any of it. So we say, you know what? We'll go ahead and connect your equipment together for you. We'll do that. But we want to propose something. We want to talk to your owner. So we go talk to the owner, this older guy. Super fucking brilliant, does not screw around. He's the guy who yells at you and calls you dumb if you drop the ball, he's that guy. And I said, you know what I want you to do here? I, I'm gonna ask you a favor. You have a $25 million printing press over there and there is more value in the data in that press than you could possibly imagine. So what I want you to do is I want you to give me permission to connect to that machine and do whatever I want to it. I'll pay for it myself. I will show you what the art of the possible is. It'll take 12 weeks. It'll probably cost $25,000 to $40,000. I'll pay for it. We'll present in 12 weeks. If you like it, you buy it, and we do the rest of your facility. If you don't, we just pick up the server and leave. So we connected to that server. We connected to that press. We connected to a database that was on that press that they didn't know about. We connected to their shop floor system, which was like a homebrew SQL backend thing where they scanned barcodes. And after 12 weeks, we came back. And we revealed to them just how inefficiently their facility was operating. There were four operators that ran on that machine. We never talked to any of those operators. But the first thing that we did, we said, this is what the data has revealed to us. This girl right here is your best operator, and it's not even close. This guy right here is your second best operator. He's pretty good. This third guy has no idea what he's doing. And this fourth guy is your rogue guy. This guy his name was uh, Hector. And, and they said, Who, did you go talk to them? And we said, no. The data revealed that to us. They already knew that through their personalities. But we proved it with digital data, the, the efficacy of each operator. Number two, we showed them by connecting all this data together that none of their operators, they, they run hundreds and hundreds of products, or thousands of products, actually. And they may run a product, they may, run a, they may print a product in April of 2022 and not run it again for 18 months. We were able to connect together all the data on that press and show them that not, there were, this one product they had run 60 times, 60 times over a two-year window, they never once set the machine up the same way twice. The web tensions were never set the same way twice. The, the tunnel temperatures were never set the same way twice out of 60 production runs. So what we did was this is their journey, a two-year journey. Well, it's two-year journey to when we were really done. And we've been doing ongoing support ever since. We digitally transformed the whole organization on this one common infrastructure. I'm going to show you what their data looks like. They used to be a $25 million company. So they do $25 million in revenue per year. So the first thing that we did was we just put data on a screen that informed operators. Okay? Now, by the way, there's nothing fancy, but like, Randy, you could do this, right? You could, you could build this, right? you and I could get the same functional specification and we would build the thing that looks the same, but it's totally different under the hood. The data, the way it's structured, 
all looks different. Okay? We don't do that. Our data always looks the same. So if you bring in an engineer and they look at this screen, an engineer from our company knows exactly how this is built. Oh, there's a namespace for this panel. There's a namespace for that panel, and there's a namespace for that panel, and there's a namespace for that panel, and then there's a namespace for how that window is built. So when we open the window, we actually read some data that tells us how to build the window. And then we, and then we connect the data to each of these little objects there. Our engineers would know exactly how it's built. And the reason that we're one of the fastest growing systems integrators in the world is because we develop that way. It takes us one hour for every other inter integrators, 10 hours. Okay? This and then a two year journey yielded a $25 million return. They spent a million dollars total, 900,000, I think it was, yeah, close. over two years. And it, they doubled their revenue and profit at, at year two 25 million to 50. That is, at what efficiency level are you operating? Are you producing exact, as much as you possibly could? He said 80%. So he believed there was only 20% gain, and we gave him 100.